Hi guys! So today I'm back and I'm going to show you how to clean, disassemble, and put back together your Tivana Perfect Steeper. Um, I figured this would be a nifty resource because there's probably other people like me who just decided to throw out the directions because they were so excited to get to use it. Um, and I will show you how exactly to take it apart and put it back together because you don't have the directions anymore. So yeah, let's get started. Okie dokie. So once you have decidedly brewed a perfect cup of tea, you're going to want to have to clean this thing out. So the first thing you want to do, of course, is rinse it because it's dirty. You want to get all the tea leaves out of it that you can. Um, yeah. Okay, so now that it's clean, now that it's clean, we're going to want to take apart the actual steeper bit because there are little leaves that are stuck in here between the um, mesh and the actual plastic. So we're going to want to take that apart. So what you want to do is you want to get a hold of this bit here in the middle, um, right here. And for me, I find it's easier to pull it to the side first and then pull it out. So, just like that. And ta-da, your mesh comes out. And then you're going to want to rinse the mesh. So now you have a clean mesh. The hardest part for me was figuring out how to get this bit in the bottom here out. Um, so what I found out is it's just a little rubber piece and you can literally just push it out. Ta-da! Just like that and that takes off the, um, that takes off the little, uh, thingy. I don't know what it's called. And then, also we want to take out this little gasket in here because if you don't, that can get moldy and that's no fun. So you can just pop that right out, just like that. And there you go, you are completely disassembled. Use some hot water, soap and water. Uh, make sure this doesn't fall down your, your garbage disposal because that would be a pain in the ass to lose. These bits I just rinse because they're really not huge. This I do use warmer water and a little bit of soap. Okie dokie. Now that you're all rinsed, we're going to want to dry it a little bit. Okay. Oops. So honestly, I don't want any water between the plastic and that gasket. So I'm going to dry it as best as I can with a paper towel. Looks pretty clean to me, guys. Alright, so, put it back together. Dry off the gasket. Don't lose it. Dry off the little base. So what you want to do is put the base in. There are actually little, as you can see, there are little um, places where it hooks in, and that way you know it's in there properly. And then what you want to do is take this gasket, uh, small side down, I don't know if you can tell, it's like a little, it's got two lengths of ring there. Small side down, you just want to push it over the little plastic bit, and put it in there so it's secure just like that. Now as you can tell, that's not falling out and it works again. So 
And then, once again, finish with the mesh, put it in there. I find it easier to put it in sideways-ish, and then just push it in. And there you go. You now have a usable, perfect steeper again. It's pretty easy. Um, yeah, I just figured this would be a nice thing for people to know how to do, because I don't want a moldy gasket, because that would make my tea taste bad. Alrighty. Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, and I will talk to you later. Bye.